Using the file My Bedroom Priority, we're going to explore the priority values of tasks. Now, by default, all tasks are given the same priority number of 500, and you can use any integer between 1 and 1000 to represent the priority of a given task. As your tasks stand at the moment, the actual task priority number has no meaning. But once you become able and ready to sort and filter your tasks, then it could be quite important that you actually prioritize see what the task value is at the moment. Well, in one of two ways, we either go into the task information and on the general tab, we can see the priority. And not only can we see the priority, we can change the priority. So I can make this task go down or up. And you can see the little arrows go up in 20s, but you can actually click in and type your own value as long as it's between one and a thousand. Now you can change tasks on mass. So we could control click that one, that one, that one, and that one. Go into the task information and make them all 600. So they're all slightly more important than the default. Okay. And we could go and change that little batch there, task information, and make them all 350. So they're less important than the average, the middle. Okay. And we could go down here and say, hang new curtains. And let's push that one up. Very important, 800. Now, until we actually get to sorting and filtering, you can't see what the priority values are without going to each task's task information box. Alternatively, we could add, if we move across a little, a column here that shows us the priority value. So we right click a current column, choose insert column, and we're then given a list of all the available columns in Microsoft Project, and there are hundreds. Luckily, they're in alphabetical order, so I could type a P to jump down to the P's. And there's priority. And that will then put the priority numbers in for me to see in the task pane here on the left. Not only will it put them in, it will allow me to change them. So if I want to measure the room to actually become very important, go up to 900 and take down the curtains and come down to 200. Now, unlike the start date, the finish date, and the duration for the summary task, which is effectively gathered and calculated from the duration, start, and finish date of all of the subtasks, the priority can be set for that section. So that section could be given quite a high priority of 700. And you see that that has no effect on the subtasks. It's just prioritizing that summary task, so that section of tasks. And you could do the same for the prep room. Let's increase that slightly. So it's higher than the average, but not as high as emptying the room. And then as we add further groups, we could prioritize those as well. Again, it'll come in useful when we work through and look at sorting and filtering so that we can sort and order our tasks by that priority value. Now, having added the column allows us to set the value within the column or it's done in the task information box. If you no longer wish to see this column here, we simply remove it by right click and hide column. Doesn't do anything to change the values, it's just hiding the column from our view.